Now, an ecological disaster that has puzzled been scientists from Poland and Germany for m weeks now. Vast numbers of fish washed up dead in the river that runs between the two countries, the Oda. Now, re researchers think they may have an answer. The danger is invisible to the naked eye. A microscopic species of algae could be to blame for the mass deaths of fish in the river Oder along the border between Germany and Poland. Officials on the German side alone have recovered 36 tons of dead fish. On the Polish side, the fire department reports nearly 100 tons. Researchers have been trying to find out why. Now their tests have discovered an unusually high concentration of the microalgae species Primnasium parvum, which should not even be in rivers. But water experts think the algae's toxins could be behind this ecological catastrophe. They go into the gills and from there they can destroy blood vessels. But they also attack mussels and amphibians. And since I've also seen dead mussels on the odor as well as dead fish, I believe this is the cause. This species of algae normally lives in river mouths, where fresh and salt water mix. That's why some scientists suspect that salt discharged into the Oder River might have led to the buildup of algae. It could be at least another week before this is clarified. Let's get an expert view on this. Uh, Daniel Helling uh, is a professor whose research focuses on aquatic ecology. He's at the University of Duisburg-Essen. Thanks for being with us. Professor Helling, how likely is it, do you think, that algae are responsible for the massive fish kill in the Oder River? So first, let me underline that I was not personally involved in this investigation. But to me, it sounds very likely, a very likely cause. So we observe um, observed in the beginning of August, a uh, massive um, increase in conductivity of the, of the odor. Conductivity is a, an indicator for the salt content. Mm. And about a week later, uh, apparently we had a, a very high concentration of algae, a so-called algae bloom. And these algae blooms are generally very dangerous for fishes, especially right. in the summer. So, well, if it, yeah, if it is to toxins or if uh, the algae have caused it in another way, this is still to be investigated. But uh, it is most likely that the algae play a big role. Okay, so uh, plausible for sure. If it is algae, do you think it would be attributable to human activity and pollution? Most likely not. So the the algae, the colleagues uh, at the IGB Berlin have identified. Uh, is, as you just said uh, in, in the short presentation, is an algae that produce toxins sometimes uh, that are dangerous for fish and all other um, organisms that have gills. So for, for humans and also for other mammals, it is less likely that we are affected. Um, but let me also underline that, uh, well, this uh, question, uh, if toxins play a role, is not yet clarified. But uh, such a massive algae bloom uh, has in any in any case a uh, uh, st strong effect on fishes. So what we also observed mm -hmm. there is the pH value of water. It uh, went above uh, the value of nine, and this is always critical for fish because under these conditions um, of massive photosynthesis of algae, which causes then this increase in pH, um, ammonium, which is always in the water, is transferred to ammoniac. So it can simply be also um, an intoxication by ammoniac. This could okay. also have been um, caused by the algae. And this is, okay. from my point of view, the most likely cause. Yeah. Okay, so it's clear that uh, more research has to be done to find out what it exactly has happened there. But do you think, given what you know so far, that it will be possible to restore the river to full health? Because this is a, an important river. Yeah, certainly. It also has a, a very important fish population, also with several species that are just occurring in this river, so-called endemic species. Um, at least two. There was also a kind of reintroduction program of the uh, of a sturgeon species, and this is certainly also affected. So um, I think uh, the river will recover because the um, tributaries of the river have apparently not affected and certainly also some fish have survived and also of the invertebrates several will have survived um, which can be a kind of initial source for a rebuilding uh, population 
On the other hand, it underlines very, very strongly how close to ecological tipping points all our rivers are in these very hot summers. There's little discharge, there's a very high temperatures, and all the organisms that live in the river, they are all, almost very close to a collapse. All right. And if then, for example, the algae bloom or the effluent of salt or something like this um, comes, comes on top, um, then we very often have these sort of fish cuts. Professor Daniel Herring, thank you very much. Thank you.